today we're going to be trying our first recipe from Antonio Carluccio. We're going to be trying a fresh egg pasta and we're going to see how it goes. Okay, so we are going to start with mixing 300 grams of flour. Okay, you've already measured that out. I have, um, with a pinch of salt. Okay. And then Antonio says that the rule of thumb is that you want to use 100 grams of pasta and one egg per person. So that should be enough for three people. So when do I put in the pinch of salt? Whatever you want. My pinches are probably not the same as your pinches. <laughs> so. Is that enough, you think? Or maybe a little more? That looks good. Okay. Sift the flour. My sifting technique is probably not as good as Antonio's, I'm sure. But looks like it's working. Oh, okay. we have an empty one. There's such a thing as a sifting technique. <laughs> Apparently. So what's the next step? Okay, so we're going to make a well in the middle of the flour. Okay. And the eggs are going to go in the I'll well. Make sure that I do it well. Do you do the edges maybe up like this a little bit, or does it matter? Just enough to hold the eggs. Okay. And then you're going to gently I'm, beat the eggs. I'm an excellent well maker, as you can see. <laughs> Or maybe not so much. What do you think? Is that a good enough well? It looks good. Okay. And then I, do I mix the eggs first or do I put them in? Well, you're supposed to put the eggs in the well and then either beat them with a fork or you can okay. just squish them with your hands and then gently incorporate the flour. Well, I'll be. We happen to have a fork here. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is put them in the well. The well is obviously not quite sufficient. So it's kind of... Just so. mix it together. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. okay, so we want to mix that in. Okay, I think my well initially was not necessarily sufficient, but we may have managed to save it as I make a mess here and just kind of mix this in. Now we have a scraper, you said? Right there. Okay. So um, the recipe says to form a soft bowl. If the dough is too dry, you can add a teaspoon of water. That's looking a little dry. Okay. That's all over my fingers as well. Okay. So are you thinking adding just a little bit of water? Yeah, a teaspoonful at a time. You don't want to or do it. Put so. too much in there. Right. Just like a teaspoon of water here. Let's see how that goes. Well, I'm not sure that made it better. Okay. And how come it's sticking to my hand so much? Because it's dough and we'll do that. Okay. Well, okay. A little bit of a rough start, but I think we're managing to salvage our ball here for our pasta. It still looks like you might want to add a little water before yeah, you can. Yeah, probably that's a good idea. Before you can actually knead that. Believe it or not, I'm actually an expert. I'm trying to make this look harder than it is. I think I'm doing a good job. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yes. So anyway, only I would be nervous from a bowl of dough. Okay. okay. Thinking maybe just even a little bit more water yet. It yeah, looks that good. looks like it might be a little bit hard to knead. As it, so I have a little water. Yeah, if, I mean, I would make a little hole in it to get the water in there, but. Okay. There you go. Even a little more here. Okay. Okay. How's that feel? It feels like a ball of dough. Okay, so we are ready to start kneading. Um, we do that for about 10 to 15 minutes. I should have really gotten in shape before. This is hard work. <laughs> it is hard work. <laughs> um, so until the dough is smooth and elastic. Okay. So, believe it or not, my kneading skills are almost as good as my mixing skills. For all of you Italian cooks out there, please don't laugh at my technique. You apologize. Okay. 
So we are about eight minutes into the kneading process and the dough is looking like it's coming together nicely. It's more elastic. Probably thanks to my expert kneading ability. <laughs> if you can't hear the sarcasm, I wasn't trying hard enough. But something good is happening, it looks like. And this is harder than it looks. I think maybe we should have used a kitchen aid. Hogwash. Nothing like doing it by hand. We're cooking like Antonio. I'm pretty sure Antonio had a kitchen aid. Probably not when he was 10. So it looks like we're just about done. And at this point, we are going to wrap the dough in cling wrap and let it rest for 30 minutes. And we're going to film that entire 30 minutes. I hope you stay with us. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Say when. I win. Okay. All right. And that's a bowl of dough. A bowl of dough. <laughs> This cling wrap is living up to its name. It's very clingy. Okay, okay and then we'll... It's almost as needy as the dough. <laughs> so, so... We'll leave it right there okay. and there take a break. Stay tuned for that 30 minutes. It's give, exciting. Give you a chance to catch your breath. There we go. Okay, so the dough has rested for 30 minutes. So now we are going to lightly flour the surface of the cutting board. Okay, I will do that now. So I forgot to mention that what we are using here is zero zero flour, not just regular flour. Okay, you think that's sufficient? Mm hmm. Okay, so go ahead and take it out of the plastic wrap. Mm hmm. Just set that behind me, and okay, I just so what we want to do is flatten it into a disc, okay? And then we are going to cut that disc into four pieces. Well, is that does it need to be thicker or thinner than that? Or I don't that... think so. Okay, all righty. So we will take our crusty knife here and cut it into quarters. Mm -hmm. Well, here, yes, okay, those kind of quarters. In this way? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sharp knife. Okay. Put the knife there. And then? And then we are going to feed the quarters one at a time through the pasta machine. So I don't need to flatten them or anything. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you have... Well, well, we have to oh, flour we the... We have to flour the blades, yeah. Like that should that. do it. Yep, that should do it. Okay. And I didn't... Um, yeah, I didn't tie that down so it might move a little bit. Okay. Okay, this is on the seventh setting, I believe. That is on the thickest setting of the pasta maker. Okay. And I can't really see what's going on there. It looks good. Yeah, so you want to catch that and then okay. um, you want to fold it into thirds. Okay. So wrap it up. Okay, and then with the, the fold up. Is that up? Mm-hmm. And we're going to do seven again. And we're going to do that four or five times. Okay. We're going to fold and run it through. Okay. I think and burn in the thirds every time. I'm going to fold up this time. Okay. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Looks good. Okay. And then once we've done that, we are going to lower the setting to number six. And I don't think at this point we need to fold it anymore. Okay. So lower your setting. I can't really... Six. Okay. Okay. 
I'll look and I'll see what so it kind of. So we don't need to fold it anymore. Just kind of run her through and see what happens. There we go. So now five. Okay. And then five and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we get it nice and thin and then we can put it through the actual pasta blade. Okay. And there is five. We go, go down to four and so forth. Yeah, I think we're going to go down to about number three. Four. We don't want it three. too thin. Okay. And then... So it would have helped if I tied that down, I'm sorry. Well, okay. That's all right. Is that good enough, or should we try it again? Um, what's it on now? It's on three. A oh, three is probably good. Okay. Okay. And there's our first sheet mm. of potential pasta. And then we're going to repeat the process for the other three quarters. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so we have our beautiful sheets of thin pasta, and we're ready to put it through the blades. Okay, here they are. They so I turned think out okay after all. Maybe put a little bit of flour on those blades. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm sure it'll work without the flour. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, that's good. Alrighty, that's actually looking like pasta. I'll be doggone. Okay, there's your first batch of our Fresh homemade pasta. Egg pasta. Okay, now we shall try that again. So our pasta maker only has two thicknesses. We only have two blades. I'm sure there are others that you have more no. of a variety, but we don't have that many choices. Apparently, when you become smarter than the pasta maker, it gets easier. And look at that. Mm. Okay. It looks to me like we're, we're in business. making something that looks like pasta. Okay. Lovely. And there is our, our pasta. Hopefully we made Antonio, wherever he is today, a little proud. Okay, so there you have it. That is our fresh egg pasta. Um, and at this point, you want to toss it with a little bit of flour so it doesn't stick together. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. I'm assuming you mean don't toss it into the air exactly. I did not mean that, no. Okay. Um, so, yes, then at this point, um, it is recommended to let it dry for about an hour, but that's not required. Um, if you're going to, you can also um, put it in a food dehydrator if you want to use it later or freeze it. Um, and if you want right. to cook it, it's probably probably only going to take about one minute to cook. Right. Um, so we will be using this in our next recipe. And that's it for now, guys. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. That's about as fresh as it gets. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.